Hi. So, after having made a challenge on Facebook Live, um, I decided to make a video on something happier. So, my son and my daughter were in the back of the Kia Sedona van one day. As I was driving. And, uh, as I was driving, my son, James, says, Mom, from the back seat. Yes, James. Mom, um, which part of us, meaning him and his sister, or which, you know, me too, but which of us are Chinese? He said, well, you're, you're both Chinese. I'm Chinese too, you know. Thing. My son says, Mom, is uh is Chashu Bows like the equivalent of the Statue of Liberty? And, and I was driving at the time, so I couldn't look back and be like, what did you just ask me? I know there are parents out there who have had questions where they were like, what? But I had to, you know, I had to like be safe. And so, you know, thankfully there was that little, that mother's eye car thing where it's like, really? Do you know what the difference between a Chashu Bao is and the Statue of Liberty? So hard to be calm right now. <laughs> and he said, Well, yeah, like Chashu Bows, you know, Chinese food. I'm like, Yes, it's authentic Chinese food. Um, I mean, it's more on the Mandarin side, yes, but it's still, you know, Chinese food nonetheless. What about it? And he said, Well, you know, um, is it, who's, who's in our family that's Chinese? And before, before I could say me, again, my son says, is it, is it my aunt Susie? No, no, no. <laughs> Your Aunt Susie, like the rest of that side of the family, is half Dominican and half Cherokee. And he says, so then does that mean I get the Chinese side from, <laughs> from, from my cousin Brianna? No! Your Aunt Susie had Brianna, so Susie is on top of that. And not, no. So then he said, my son says, well, what about, is it, is the Chinese side from Marissa? No, no, because your Aunt Susie had Brianna and then Marissa and, and, and still half Dominican and half Cherokee. And my son says, okay, before I can finish, of course, bef well, okay. Does that mean that I get it from Joseph? No, 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 no. Like Aunt Susie, your Aunt Susie, and then your cousin Brianna, and then your cousin Marissa, and your cousin Joseph. Like they, they, they're all from your Aunt Susie. And your Aunt Susie is half Dominican and half Chinese. So then he stays quiet for a second like half a breath. And then he says, so then do I get like my Chinese-ness before I can speak again, once again, do I get my Chinese-ness from Aunt Mary? No, you do not, like not at all. Like again, your Aunt Susie and your Aunt Mary and that side of the family is half Dominican and half Cherokee. So that, is it Uncle David? No, it is not. Like, boy, like, I just, boy, like, at that point, it's one of those, the, the, 
mothers. I just, what is, I gotta keep, boy, like, oof. Mm, mm. Mm. I know I'm not the only parent. <laughs> not the only mom. I know there are dads out there that have had conversations or discussions where it's like, what? <laughs> where did that come from? Right now when driving, right now. Ooh. And so then, <laughs> and I'm like, no, David married Mary. So no, like your, your, your uncle David is like, I think he's like half Irish and half like a bunch of other stuff, but like, why? And he's like, well, I want to know who I get the Chinese stuff from. And I said, boy, look in the, look in the, and you see this mirror right here pointing to the mother's eye. He goes, yes. I go, I know I don't look it, <laughs> but I gave birth to you, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So why don't you try again? <laughs> and my son says, well, then, um, do I get um, my Chinese-ness from Grandma Hum? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Ooh, no, you do not. Like, no, no, try again. And he says, Grandpa, huh? Yes, yes. Okay, finally, you get the... Now, in between, he had also listed Grandma Nichols, Grandpa Nichols, as well as um, Uncle Tony, Aunt Gail, and, and, and her children before getting to my biological mother, Anna, and then Grandpa Tom. And I was like... Up time, like you. They, <laughs> I'll light up a real cigarette at that time. I'm lighting up a real cigarette. I just can't. I just, mm, boy. Mm. Mm. So then he goes back to the whole. So then, like the Chashu Bow. Is like the Statue of Liberty, right? How would you think that the Chashuba? <laughs> where does that thought process come from? And he says, well, you know, like, it's a Statue of Liberty. It was given to the United States of America. Yeah, do you eat the Statue of Liberty? No. Okay. So you, you don't? No. Okay, but you need a chashu bath. Uh huh. Okay. See, I even have said that to my own children, <laughs> just not as vehemently in certain ways. And so then he went over the history of the Statue of Liberty. I'm like, oh, good, you actually learned something. In school, why would you think that the Chashu Bao is like the Statue of Liberty? Ow. And so then I said, do you want me to give you a comparison? And he was like, okay, sure. I said, so like the Chashu Bao is kind of like the croissant. And he goes, well, what does a croissant have to do with anything? Boy. <laughs> Boy, gotta keep me. Boy, <laughs> I know I'm not the only one who's had a situation, not necessarily exactly like this, but in close enough where it's like.
He said, I gotta I got put this down because I already feel it dense. He goes, so, you know, Panda Express is authentic Chinese food, right? And I just, I couldn't help it. I, I, I pulled the, I pulled the van over and I was like, no, no, it's, it's good Chinese food. Nothing, just no, like, no, it is Americanized. That is Americanized. Like you, like authentic Chinese food does not have orange chicken. Orange chicken is n no, is not real Chinese food. Don't you, don't you. I love you so much. I love you. Oh, I love you so much. Oh. And, and and again, no offense towards Panda Express. It, I, I understand that they began because of like an Asian family, but I'm sure they themselves could admit it is Americanized Chinese food and it's not authentic Chinese food. And so, you know, just... Mm. 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 Do you have any more questions before I put it? Do try because I can't. I can't just right now. Just any 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 other questions? I love you. You are my son. I love you. Any other questions? So the so, so the 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 Chashu Bow is not like the Statue of Liberty. Are you joking? Are you are you making a joke? Or do you still believe that? No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, you you got the memo that. Yeah. I hope I remember to tell your grandpa on this discussion. Boy. 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 So then I start driving again. My daughter then goes, Mom, yes, 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 what? <laughs> what is your question? Because I'm, I'm expecting, like, I don't know what to expect at that point. She goes, do you remember? And I was like, remember what? What was that thing that you called us? And I said, um, there's a few things. I called you my children. Still call you that. Uh, I call you my daughter, and I call your brother my son. Um, your name, Lydia Louise, and, you know, James Michael. And, you know, I mean, there's, there's a, uh, what, you know, you're my koala bear, and he's my panda bear. Um, and both of them go, you're our mama bear. And I'm like, yes. Yes, I am. I am your mama bear. And they're just like, yeah. And, you know, they were like, well, Cactus Jack, although they, they called him Mr. Jeff. Um, <laughs> I call him Cactus Jack now. Thanks, Roxy from Army at Camp Bullis for that. <laughs> he says he wants us to call him Papa Bear. And I was like, yeah, no. I mean, I guess I could tolerate that, but not very long. And and he was in the he was in the passenger seat, and he just kind of looked over at me. He's like, "Really? I'm right here." I'm like, "Yep." Yeah. And then, like that night, like I broke up with him. So 
the irony on that. But anyway. Um, so. <laughs> and then it took a really long time to get out of my house. Um, but anyway, and leave me alone. But, um, I told my daughter, so, well, you know, I oh, are you talking about, um, when I told you that I call you my eggeritos? And my daughter said, yeah, could you tell, you know, my brother and I the story about how you came up with the nickname eggeritos? And said, well, both of you, you know, when I would swaddle you up in your blankets and stuff like that. I'd wrap your arms and then kind of tuck them in and then take the <clears throat> bottom part of the the triangle of the 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 blanket and kind of tuck it a certain way and you kind of look like an egg roll, kind of look like a burrito, but you know, cute my little egg burritos. Your biological father is half Dominican and half Cherokee and I'm half Chinese and a half bunch of other stuff. So yeah. I mean, I could have called you my spring rolls, but, you know, I kind of figured, you know, Eggerita was, you know, more balanced and stuff like that. And my daughter just started giggling and she's like, that's the only question I had. And I was like, all right, well, that's <laughs> compared to all the other ones, you know, I love you <laughs> so much. I love you both so much. I love you both so much. But yeah. Though I was told that I was racist for calling my children eggeritos, and I was like, how is it racist when I am what I am, and they are what they are? Like, that just doesn't make any sense to call me racist for <laughs> calling my children what they are and what they look like, and for those who have done that sort of swaddling, you know, like, can you look like me? I mean, you know, if you're Hispanic, they look like little burritos. Chinese, they look like egg rolls. <laughs> the way it's swaddled. Them being the combination that they were, irony of, you know, the Panda Express thing, yeah, egg burritos. So, ta-da! Anyway, <laughs> like my channel, or subscribe to my channel, like this video, official one, and um, share with everybody. You guys have a good one.